Um, so my name is Drew Harry. I lead a, a team at Twitch we call the Science Team. Um, the Science Team is an interdisciplinary group of, um, of uh, data scientists and user experience researchers and analysts, and we help Twitch with high leverage, uh, data-driven decisions. So one of the things I've been thinking a lot about over the last year as we've grown this team from two people to 13 people is what does success look like? What is a good data team? How do you structure a good, good data team? And how do you decide if you've done a good job or not? And data is a relatively new discipline, right? We didn't have teams like this a long time ago. And, and the dialogue around like what is what does a good situation look like is still evolving. So through like talking to candidates and talking to folks on the team, um, I was trying to get to a list of questions I could ask myself. How do I know if I'm doing a good job or not? Um, and I was really inspired by Joel Spolsky's list of questions to ask about software engineering teams. He has this famous list of questions like, do you use source control? Do you fix bugs before you write new features? Uh, do you have a good build environment? I wanted that for data. I wanted a set of easy to answer questions that would let me look at my team and think about whether we're doing a good job or not. And also for people who are looking at joining teams uh, to say, does this look like a healthy team? Is this a place where I want to work? Is this a place where I'm going to be autonomous and happy? OK, so the first section is about focus. Uh, I think one of the big challenges of being a data scientist is that data scientists are pretty good at lots of things. And so there's a tendency to get pulled in wherever there's the highest level of urgency. This speaks sort of to Samson's problem with building pipelines. If that's the thing that's on fire and you are capable of doing it, you are going to do that. So uh, I think good disciplined uh, companies don't force data scientists to do that. Data scientists should work on things that only data scientists can do, not things data scientists are capable of. So uh, you should ask, do you spend the vast majority of your time on projects that take longer than a day? Um, does data infrastructure have dedicated engineers working on it? You shouldn't have to be fighting with other teams to make progress on infrastructure. Uh, do people in the organization have ways to access basic data without asking a data scientist? These are all things that you don't need data scientists to do. If you don't have ad hoc systems for dealing with ad hoc requests, data scientists are going to be sad because they're not really doing data science. OK, the second area is friction. These questions are all about uh, things that are not necessarily a distraction, but things that slow you down, things that make you sad as a data scientist. So the first one is, can you access data without impacting production system performance? Uh, I am shocked at how often the answer to this is no. People are like running queries on production databases and they can't run them at peak times because the site might fall over. Uh, don't do that. Uh, do you spend more time doing analysis than waiting for data? Uh, the dream is yes. It is sort of satisfying to have a query running in the background and feel like you're working even though you're not really. But it's better if you just get data quickly. So teams should be prepared to invest the money and time it takes to build infrastructure that gets you data you need quickly. Um, so you're not waiting all the time. Is there documentation for major schemas? Uh, I think all companies have, oops, sorry. Uh, all companies have data that they just don't know what it is, what the quality levels are, what that column means. Um, and you're never going to get all of it, but you should aim for having documentation for all the major stuff. So you're not always having to ask people on Slack, what does this table have in it? Um, is instrumentation considered part of a minimum launchable product? You also shouldn't have to fight with engineering and product teams that you have to have tracking when you launch a new feature. Uh, it's not, um, you're not going to be useful to anybody if you can't see what's happening in your system. Um, so you should always be doing that. And in this vein, do you have a process for detecting and fixing bugs in data collection? So it's one thing to have a schema. It's another thing to say, does reality actually reflect the schema you think you have? And this is a massive problem, right? You could spend your entire life trying to fix these issues, and not all issues are worth fixing. But at the very least, you should know when things go catastrophically wrong on the data sources that you depend on the most. OK. Um, when I think about data science in terms of how it's done, I think of it as a research process, first and foremost. And part of the challenge with research is figuring out how you communicate it to the rest of the org and how you make sure it's done well. So I think teams that are, are excellent are teams that think a lot about their process and take it seriously. So the first piece is, what comes out of a data science project, right? Is it, um, is it advice? Is it a graph? Is it a decision? Uh, whatever you do, I feel pretty strongly that you should write it down. Um, this is what all researchers learn, and I think it makes sense in this context, too. 
Because you're not just convincing one person now, you're convincing yourself in the future, you're convincing other data scientists you hire, you're convincing engineers why the thing that they're working on is important. Uh, doing good central documentation is critical. The other tricky thing about data science is that most of the people you're working with are not gonna be able to judge your work. Um, if you're doing something dumb, no one's necessarily gonna notice. So it's important for teams to have strong internal processes for doing peer review so you don't ship things to your customers uh, that are maybe not true. Um, and finally, do you run experiments to understand the impact of decisions? I think if you're not doing controlled randomized experiments, you're leaving your most effective tool for understanding your product on the table. Um, you should be doing that one too. Uh, and then the last piece is how is data science organized inside the company? Where does it sit and who does it interact with? And what pressures do they place on you? So can you report negative results without major political pressure? Uh, if a product is failing, you need to be able to say a product is failing and not have someone tell you, ooh, that's like, you shouldn't tell anybody that. You need to make that look better um, because I need to look good to my boss. If that's happening, the company is not being intellectually honest with you and, and data teams are not going to be successful. Uh, the other way to measure your impact is to say, can the CEO name at least one way the team contributed that quarter? And if you've done your job well with documentation and you're showing people this is what we're doing, this is why we're doing it, this is the impact it's having on the business, this should be a no-brainer. But it's good to check. Make sure that the people around you that you work with understand what you're doing for them and why. And finally, this is another kind of output metric, but are data scientists consulted in product and business planning processes? If you're doing well, everyone's going to want you in the room. Everyone's going to say, I do better when data science is involved early and often. Um, and the best way you can tell if you're doing that is not, do people tell you they like you? It's, do they invite you to their meetings? Are you showing up and are you in the room when decisions are made? And not just at the end when you, they want to pat on the back for a job well done, but at the beginning when they're thinking about what should we be doing it? Why are we doing it? How do we understand success? And how can data science contribute to that process? Um, Cool, that's all I got. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback after about whether there's questions you ask that I don't, don't have on this list or questions on here that you think are, are totally stupid. Cool, thank you.